and getting you ready for the tradition and the memories that can only come from football Friday night. It's about bringing a community together. If you're my age, you still probably remember playing or going to the games. Maybe you were a cheerleader or in the marching band. Well, now it's your kids or grandkids turn to take part in the excitement of high school football. And for a 41st season, WBTV's football Friday night will be on the sidelines capturing it all. Yeah, the big plays, the big hits, the big wins. Our crews have been there over the decades and they are getting ready to do it again starting tomorrow night. Our sports director, Nate Wimberly, once again, our guy calling the plays. All right, Nate, here we go, right? Yeah. Opening night is upon us. A couple games tonight, yes. most of the games Friday. Yeah. How are those coaches and players feeling right about now? Uh, there's a little bit of nervousness, you yeah. know, but a lot of excitement because it is time for high school football. Hey, football Friday night. But, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a great time of the year. It's it just a great time of the year. We're going to be sweating at the start yeah. of the year. That much we know. Absolutely. <laughs> one, one thing I do want to mention that, you know, we got to be a little bit better, guys, this year. <laughs> In my 26 years, last year was the only time we've, we've only had two state champions. That's yeah. North Carolina, South Carolina, public and private. Shout out to East Lincoln and Providence Day, the only two teams right. to win a state championship. I don't think that's a trend. I just think that just happened last year. Right. It'll get better this yeah, year. Yeah, not the expectation we no, have for this region. No. Well, let's talk about some, some of the storylines coming into this season. Uh, one thing we know, we've got some new faces with some traditional powers. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you think about this. Teams like Kings Mount. Kings Mount went 13 and 1 last year. They got a new coach. You know, Charlotte Christian, perennial power in, Providence, uh, yeah. in, in, in private school football, new coach. Uh, Catholic. A.O. Brown. These are traditional powers. No, yeah. Myers Park. The, it's just the, the list. Folks, we are in for some uh, some some change, some some new things happening. Uh -huh. The interesting thing will be is can these teams continue to roll? In the, but, the, you know, they're traditional powers. They're going to keep rolling. Yeah. So you, you kind of expect it. But if they come out a little bit slow, don't be surprised mm. because it's a new coach. Well, let me ask you about that. Since yeah. we know there's always these traditional powers that we deal with, are there a couple of newcomers that could crash the party this year? I'll, I'll answer this uh, with two. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to go with two. And it, it, normally we don't talk a lot about 1A football because we don't have a lot of 1A programs mm -hmm. in our area. But Louisville down in South Carolina with Coach Bowyer, uh, they're going to be good. They're, they're, they're ranked third in the polls, uh, the opening polls of this season in 1A football. Pretty good, guys. Drone. Yeah. I kind of slept on Drone last year because <laughs> you th normally think of them as a two-way school. Yeah. But they moved down to 1A in the reclassification. And last year, they had a, a heck of a year. You know, and they got a lot coming back, uh, starting quarterbacks back, uh, leading rusher Nigel Dula's back. Uh, Coach Powell's done a great job there at, at, at Drone. In Valdi. So, you know, look out for them <laughs> in 1A private, I mean, uh, public school football in North Carolina. They're going to be yeah. pretty good this year. All right, so back to Friday, week one. Game of the week, how many games where can we watch? Uh, game of the week this week is Shelby at Kings Mountain, the Battle of Buffalo Creek. You know, Shelby has dominated this rivalry, but last year Kings Mountain won 28 to 26. Uh, speaking of new coach, we, we mentioned it, Kings Mountain has a new head coach in Straight Heron. Straight Heron won five state championships at South Point. The Kings Mountain went 13 to one last year. They've been knocking on the door to win that state championship. They're hoping that Coach uh, Herring could come in and get it done finally. They have three new quarterbacks, or, or three quarterbacks that they're working out right now. So if you got that many, you really ain't got a quarterback. So <laughs> Coach Herring got some stuff to figure out for uh, Friday night. But, and Shelby's going to be pretty good. We have high, we're going to have highlights of 14 games. So it's going to be very interesting. But, you know, how you can you watch this? 1120 right here on WBTV for Football Friday night. Then at 1130, we go to WBTV.com slash live. There you go, and uh, here's the details again. You heard Nate, we're getting closer to the return of Football Friday night. It returns tomorrow night, 1120 right here on WBTV. Then they move digitally at 1130 August 18th. It is here. Where has the summer gone? High school football is back.